Right. We've just stopped here, haven't we? Yeah, we stopped here for lunch. This is uh, an amazing view. Well, this is part of Hadrian's Wall, isn't it? Yeah, this is that's um, right. Banks Turret. Yep. We've stopped here last year, I think, when we were with Glenn and Sharon. Yeah. And uh, there's a bit of the wall. It's further up there, isn't it? That's right. We'll have a little walk up there, but you can see why the Romans built a wall here. Come on, keep going. Plenty of agricultural smells here for your pops. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> You're still with us. This yeah, so this is Pike Hill Signal Turret, built before Hadrian's Wall. So this is long views in all directions. Perfect place for keeping watch 30 years before Hadrian's Wall was begun. <laughs> so the troops could signal to other forts along the route there. Poppy's making friends. <laughs> no, no food. <laughs> You've got your food later, Poppy. That was a rather a rather tatty sign about exploring Adrian's Wall. Is it meant to, oh it's meant to be look old, isn't it? Yeah. Got it. So we're actually there at Banks Turret. And the places we have been, we've been to Birderswald. Yeah, shall we film that? Yeah. Into Larnacost. Yeah, just now. We've been to Willow Ford Bridge. Where's that? There's a Roman oh, bridge there. Willow Ford Bridge, where's that then? Yeah, um, two. So, two. So near as Birderswald. They're not far from the yeah, other side of there. We're okay. here, aren't we? And then Birders Ward, and it's beyond yeah, there. Yeah, so I could have a Roman bridge. Roman bridge, okay. So this is a bit of Hadrian's Wall. Definitely, yeah. Recognise the style. <laughs> and the thickness, of course. Yeah. Poppy always goes the other side of me when I'm holding the camera. I think she does it deliberately. <laughs> come on, come on now. Yeah, so this is Banks East Turret and that's what it would have looked like. That would have been impressive, wouldn't, impressive it? wouldn't it? Yeah, just just here. Yeah. Really? It's turrets were watchtowers, so they're spaced about every Roman mile, built from AD 122. Roman troops occupied some turrets continuously, whilst they abandoned and adapted other others according to changing military uses. This one remained in use until the later fourth century, and it originated a stone tower within the turf section of the Hadrian's Wall. And within a few years, the turf section was replaced. So the whole of Hadrian's Wall was now built of stone. So it says excavations in 1927 recovered a mason's hammer, coin depicting the Emperor Hadrian, pottery for cooking and eating, and several hearths and a stone platform that formed the base for a ladder. The turret was lowered in the third century, creating a building with a lean-to roof ending at the level of the wall top walk. Okay, I don't know why they lowered it. Strange thing to do. We're going to have explore the remains of the of the uh, turret. Well, the walls themselves are in pretty good order, aren't they? They're very neat as well. Yeah. 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 Amazing to think this was. What did it say? One twenty-two. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, wow. Yeah, getting on for two thousand years ago. Oh. I'm going to stand there. Or nineteen hundred years ago. I don't know how my maths is. A lot of years ago. I'll oh, just uh, come up here to the Willow Ford Bridge. Yeah, we're following the um, Adrian's Wall signs, aren't we? Yeah.
gone past Birders Wall, haven't we? Because we've done that before. P's to the left, I think. What? P here. Oh yeah. Sure. Short stay. <laughs> yeah, so this is a Roman bridge. Yeah, so we missed out the big fort, haven't we, which we've filmed before. Yeah, we so didn't we're... we didn't do Birderswold because we've we've been there before, and you have to pre pre book anyway. So. Yeah, yeah. If you can hear me above Tara, Tara's excited again. I can honestly say we've never been here before, so it's half a mile walk by the looks of it. Fair bit of walking today. Feels good. Yep. Getting sort of blown back here. Yeah, the wind's coming straight at us. I think it's done as far now. No. That's why you need to keep your dogs on a lead. Get off the fur. Are you a daft dog? <laughs> Some rams here as well, Pops. I don't think they take too kindly to you. Go on there, Pops, keep going. It did say half a mile, didn't it? So. Should be counting these steps, shouldn't I? Poppy, keep going. Come on, keep going, keep going. You know, the only trouble with those steps, don't you? You've got to go back up them. Yeah. you got to take these two back up them because yeah. they've got race up there. Yeah, they've all got like, uh, these walls got like little cutouts, haven't they? All along here, can't don't know what that's for. Mind the sheep poo. Come on. Must have been a tower here or something. That's interesting, yeah, pops. Pop is gonna explore. What's in there then, pops? Hey, anything? No. Okay. Tara will have a look. No, uh, she's. There's no pops, aren't you? Danger you'll lose her the other side. Um, Poppy. <laughs> Did you come back, Poppy? <laughs> this way. Back. Good girl. Thank you. <laughs> I can't fit in there, Pops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the yeah. other entrance, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, bring in there. <laughs> Can we go up here, Poppy. This way. I well, wonder if that's the remains of the Roman bridge there, is it? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a river earthing. And uh, this is not the site of the original Roman bridge because that's further over there. And I think we actually must have gone past it without realising because the river has actually moved west since Roman times so the river yeah. was further over there You couldn't cross it at all could you until 1999 when this was opened No, this was actually helicoptered into place, this bridge Yeah so it was to, make, to make part of the, uh, the trail It's a very beautiful bridge itself but it's not Roman no. Even I can say that's not Roman. The what? Even I can say that's not Roman. Right, so this was the original crossing, the Irving. And 
the Hadrian's Wall crossed the River Irthing on three successive bridges. Well, that was obviously what it looked like. Very impressive. Very a bit less impressive today, but yeah, <laughs> can't yeah. really figure out what's what, can you? No. But uh, we said since Roman times, the rivers moved slowly westwards, eroding the far bank while depositing soil and stones on the near bank during floods. So the process covered and preserved the remains that are visible today. So it's gone. The river's gone over there. Yeah, after the, the wall was abandoned, the bridge decayed and eventually fell. Oh, so right. long okay. after the Romans, at some point between 13th and 15th century AD, a smithy was established on the bridge side. Yeah. Contained a furnace for re-smelting re right. Roman iron cramps that they were used, used to hold it. Stone. So that, that it fell apart even more then? Yeah, yeah. Alright. All right. Should we go along here? Go along here then, yeah. Yeah, so those were the actual pillars, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. with a bit that Poppy went through earlier. Yeah, so they nicked all the iron out of it, they held it all together. Yeah, right. <laughs> Come on, Poppy, up here. We're up here, Pops. Oh, well, some structure, wasn't it? Yeah. This side, please. Tale of three bridges, so these massive stone structures are parts of abutments that support the eastern end of three successive Roman bridges built between 122 and 207. So that was obviously the first, and then AD 60 to 80, and that had a huge abutment pierced by two sluices to our floodwaters pass underneath. Is that what we were looking at there, the yeah, sluices? That oh, is. that's what Poppy yeah. climbed through, the sluices. Yeah. 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 So mm -hmm. then they made the bridge wider and the tower was demolished and a ramp built over its remains to carry a military road in 207, 205, 207. Oh, that's quite interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's obviously a familiar structure they use. Cause yeah, so that's, that's a sculpture yeah. from Trajan's Column in Rome in 113. It provides details of a timber bridge built in Dacia uh, in Romania on tall stone piers larger than but similar to Bridge 2 at Williford. So it was like that. That was quite a, a stone structure, wasn't it? It's a shame that all sort of fell apart. Well, it's <laughs> Blame the smithy. Yeah, true, yeah. That's what's always left is the foundations, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Good girl, Poppy. Go on then. Come on. No. They're like random stones here, aren't they? Gonna be interesting for you, isn't it? Or is it a gate? Sorry? I don't know, okay. Back up the steps. Do you want to go back up the steps? Okay. I don't want to go through the field, do you? Come on, come on, this way. Yeah, so those were the sluices then. Fascinated by that, aren't they? Yeah. Come on then. Come on, Pops, let's get back up here. Come on. 
Ja. Ja, dat is een fair climb. It's alright for you, isn't it? Yeah, with your four legs and your fur. That's a fair climb, that is. Yeah, it is. This is Terek 48B, Roman watchtower. They say that they had like a an observation platform at the top of the parapet, but they may have had pitched roofs covered with tiles, thatch or shingles, and the evidence from one turret to another varies. And not all the turrets were kept in in order throughout the the wall's history. Yeah. That was how it looked after completion in the mid 120s. Yeah, it's been really nice to walk along the wall. I mean, a lot of people do uh, hike along the wall. This is seen hikers coming along the wall. Yeah, this part of the trail now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so if you're into walking, it's well worth having a look because there's some stunning scenery. <laughs> so that's it for now. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, and we'll catch up with you in the next one. So this is the river itching. We're itching to know where this bridge is. It must be there. You think? Yeah. It looks like a bit of a round thing, doesn't it? Yeah.